Um, we didn't shoot the ball real well, but I think it had a lot to do with their length. Uh, they're a little taller than we are. I think they're about five seven, five eight. We're about five three, five four to guards. Uh, gave up a little bit on athleticism. They made five of 12, I think, in the first half from the three-point line. Um, two that was not supposed to, you know, 23, the game plan was not like her score off the dribble. She hit two in the first half. And then we allowed, uh, uh, on our press, we tried to press a couple of times, and we allowed, uh, we allowed them to spot up and hit a three. So to me, that killed us in the first half, 15 points in the first half. We've got to be a ball control type team, and we're down having to do something that we're not Custom to do it. Um, it sort of puts us behind the uh, eight ball a little bit. So getting down in the first half sort of changed the game plan a little bit. It sort of feeds into their hands a little bit on the fact that we're having to play a more open court style. And we really don't want to play that style. We, we want to be up and making you play a boring game. And uh, we didn't get to do that. So um, sort of hurts you a little bit on that. I said they uh, uh, they did a good job. They shot the ball well. We didn't shoot the ball well from the free throw line either. We're, I think we're about 68, 69, 67, somewhere in there on, on the year from the free throw line. It wasn't a shoot. Y'all got better eyes than I got. Was well, 42. Yeah, that's not very good. So that hurts you. you know, that hurts you. Like I said, it sort of game changed a lot for us. We're, like I said, we're a ball control type, ugly, ugly type game. Uh, we've overachieved all year long. This bunch went 14 to 16 last year. We lost one player that's a good defender. We've won 25 games this year and beat Glencoe Boaz, which is in 5A finals, uh, South Side once. We center, center's a good team. You know, center's a good team. They, they basically had to go to Aniston. So uh, I'm not at all disappointed in this bunch. They, they've been overachievers all year long. And I, I told somebody the other day, uh, you know, we might show up one night and get bumped in the head uh, by a team. And everybody go, well, what are they doing over here? Well, we're, we're better than what we were, but we, we are overachievers too, and we've been doing it all year. So I'm proud of them. What were what were some things that they were doing offensively? I noticed they were running a lot of flex, but they were getting some open looks from the outside. You, you guys guarded the flex coach really well, but what, what were they doing to get some of the open? Runs? Well, the biggest thing is, is we didn't give enough gap for our person to get back through the down screen. And we were basically screening ourselves a couple of times. You know, you're glued to your man. There's two people screaming. You can leave an alley, you slide through. We got caught on that a couple of times. So, you know, just not playing the downstream right hurt us more than anything else. It wasn't nothing uh, but that. But the other thing is, is they all shoot the ball pretty well. You know, come out. And tonight, they were all pretty much hot. There wasn't nobody just missing. 23 is a dead eye shooter. Uh, I coach her in AAU some, so I know what she was. Uh, and then the rest of them shot the ball really well. You know, so if you left them open, they make it. I, they shot, what did they shoot from the three-point line overall? Seven for 16, 40-something percent. Yeah, that's pretty good in this place. If, you, if you're going to ask somebody to shoot, I took 40% from the three-point line, and it'd been a, we might have been led. That's what I'm saying. But we're not going to get those shots as much because of the length. It takes us a little bit more space to get that shot off where they're a little, you know, a little taller. That makes a big difference in basketball, especially girls' basketball. Length makes a huge difference. Length and speed. Speed kills. For any of the girls, just the same. This season really seemed to really start clicking for y'all at that Christmas tournament in Hawaii, and y'all just were on a roll since. What was keys to y'all, you know, kind of get things together and making it to Jacksonville? I feel like we've grown a lot since last year, and I feel like once we start winning games, like we get more confident, and we just like all together, like we just work good together, like we, we each have. A role on the court, like I don't know, so like that. They're very uh, one of the best teams I ever had of understanding what they're there for. You know, it's hard to get kids to do today. Uh, we beat uh, we beat center one of our post players that played a lot tonight because she's athletic. A uh, little Aubrey Mullen. Uh, She's athletic and we got behind. There's certain situations, certain players are going to get to play more and some, some situations they're not. This is one of the best groups I've ever had. We beat center that night and she didn't play a lick. Aubrey didn't play a lick. We walk in, we got something called Coach Ball wins, and she's in there writing it on the board. It, 
she just understood. Hey, it wasn't my night. I wasn't. I was in rotation tonight. Uh, tonight she got more playing time because we were down having to press and stuff like that. And so they they did a. To me, that's what Hiawassee does for us every year. It's sort of like a team camp right in the middle of the season. We go over there. We spend three days with one another. There's nothing over there. If you've ever been over there, there's nothing over there. It's like, you know, there's thrift stores is your highlight of the day. So you watch basketball and, and you're around each other. So you play cards. You get to know each other. You become teammates. And, and to me, that's sort of what she was trying to say. We're we're a bunch of good teammates, and that's to me that's the most important thing when they leave here. That's what I want to teach them as basketball players to be good teammates in life. And that's not always uh, uh, all positive. We, we're a team, if you're ever around us a little bit, they can take somebody getting on them. You know, uh, they know what it's about and uh, they know what they're supposed to do with it. So uh, I, I just think they're good teammates with one another, and that's what happens from Hiawassee all over. They understand their roles better, and because of that, we get better opportunities against good teams that we shouldn't get sometimes.